so far it's looking pretty hot it looks like fire so today is our second my and my art partner's second day working on this project and uh just to recap for the first day we had the idea of doing some kind of stencil on some kind of fabric along with the mizuhiki element to it so those are the three elements we decided the other key element was the paint on the thing so she's gonna do a design on the tote bag and do a mizuhiki pendant on there the first step was deciding what we were gonna do so i decided on hiyaku together means taking a leap like going forward so that's the kind of idea i wanted to come out with this the butterfly design after osaka no mi one i got super inspired ideas and just came up with the visor idea so and then from there i researched on the internet and found a whole bunch of different examples and i drew it on a paper and from the paper just put the folder up plastic folder on top and just literally used an exacto knife to cut out these stencils so that was about it it was a little bit tough because it's as you can see incredibly incredibly detailed but just a little bit patient that was kind of the process of day one today's day two we are gonna be painting on the stencil and trying to do our design today but i do like that it's black and when i paint it the writing is gonna be black yeah the butterfly will be gold i think i bought this cool gold and so yeah, so this is just to show a little of the before of this art project with Japanese calligraphy. And here, the, I want to have the butterfly pendant on the side. So it'll be a butterfly here and then a little butterfly here. I think that'll look really cute. And yeah, I'm excited to this project. I got all these acrylics, which I was trying to find fabric paint, but I read on the wonderful internet that Acrylic works just fine on fabric, so I'm not buying anything extra. If anything, I love doing projects where I can use things that are at home. For example, I just used a file folder to make this plastic stencil. I'm actually using some sponges to paint on here over the stencil. I want to give it some texture, so that's a great way to do that is with sponges. A little tip for that. I'm gonna get going with this project and hopefully it'll work out today so. butterfly designs i kind of like this one because i feel like i could fit more of the kanji the monarch let's see if we go with this here this buddy it's and one sided tape so it doesn't move this is very important to keep it where i want it to be okay so what i did was just ta double tape down the stencil i'm gonna replace this center with gold because the hat is and i'll like the black frame of it into gold putting this the center i can see pen i can see the pencil mark it's actually not that clear this pencil so Okay, so art is all about problem solving. Just gonna have to figure this out somehow. Maybe I should just go ahead and use my paint. I do have a general idea what I want to do here. Here we go. I'm a little bit nervous, but everything's centered the way I like it. I'm gonna make Gonna be the head right here. I'm using this brush. This is like one of the thinnest ones I could find. So, oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Ah, uh, you guys, I love, I love art. Look how, it's, how it all just comes together. is amazing. They have very long. I I don't know what this is called. If anybody knows what is this, dude, is it a is it a butterfly tail? Let me know. I think this is good. It kind of looks like a an Oscar. Kind of see where this is going. The outline here, I'm more or less done with that. So you can see more or less the outline. I really want the kanji to pop. So as much color outside is my goal. I really like how this acrylic is sticking to the fabric. I was a little bit worried about that. I'm not putting any water quite dry. 
acrylic. I'm really trying to seep it into the fabric so that it's much more durable. Uh, this is actually my first time working painting on fabric. I mean, it's basically canvas, a little bit different, I guess. That's the fun part about these projects. Just a lot of experimentation. Um, I'm trying to decide. Design has a lot of compartmentalized areas and I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of space on here. I really want to use the sponge effect on here and then I'll go on top actually. All right, so time to mix. Time to mix these guys up and make some cool orange. I'm going to do a gradation. Yeah, I definitely need more, 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 more paint. You can already see the effect, see on the edge that it's making the kanji. You can see the kanji. So I really, really want that to be a lot of paint on there. Taping up the edge. I want to try the sponge effect, but not paint this area. All right, I'm excited about this sponge dabbing. Okay, so let's give this a go. Let's just see who gets all these up. It's going to make a really cool effect, I think. And let's see how this goes. Like I said, never done any of this before, so let's experiment. Dab, dab, dab. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do a gradation effect. I already need mad paint. This is gonna use a lot of paint, but good, cause I got a whole tub. Ooh, that's fun. Isn't this fun? Look at that. Oh my gosh. My brush just broke. All right, that's what you get for buying cheap. Ain't no shame in my game. I know I have to be a little bit careful with the gray part of the edge of this cap. All right, looks like a lot of like tomato paste on here. <laughs> but that's what I want, that's cool. I'll do the gradation in a little bit. All right, I'm a little bit annoyed because I did see that some of the paint went inside at this point i don't know i will just paint it after a little bit i don't think it's a lot of it but just the corners so i'm gonna go ahead and do the top here which is a little bit more of a mustardy yellow uh i'll just put in a little more yellow uh, it's an ikea brush no wonder it broke i really don't want it big at all okay let's give it a go not too much. I don't want gloppy because that's what I did last time. Small and repeated. I want to be really careful with the stencil and just hold it there a little. Okay, so I really want to make sure to just color all around. I like this gradation how it's coming out actually. I think the trick is to hold it steady and just up so that it has a chance to soak in. This is an important part. Everything else you can kind of paint again, but the main thing is to have the kanji black stick out. So you want to paint all around it. Okay, I'm not doing, I'm being impatient right now. So I'm just gonna calm down and do my technique. But I can see the gradation. I'll put some yellow on top too. It's beautiful. And I'm just, I'm not even gonna mix much. I have so much going on here. I could choose. I don't, see this glob? I don't want that glob. Make it a little more matte and go up here. Do I get these edges? Gotta get them edges. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. All right, on this side, looks like fire. Fire. We want it as symmetrical. Okay, taking off the stencil. Woo! <laughs> Kawaii. Should I wait? Uh, so that, eh? so that way, mm, okay, so I'm going to wait for this to dry. I don't know if you guys can hear that music. That's coming from outside. It's the truck that comes to fill up everyone's kerosene in the winter. Weird Japan stuff. Almost just kind of like filling in the pores, for lack of a better word. All right, y'all, I think that's all for today. 
This is the gradation. I think it's pretty cool. It's gonna look great with the black kanji popping out. I'm gonna wait till this dries for tomorrow and then take out the black and paint in some of the gold on top and just clean it up and the edges. And Oh yeah, I forgot the antennae. Maybe I'll paint it up here. I don't know, we'll see. All right guys, so for today, I'm gonna leave it right here. Wait till it totally dries till tomorrow. Take off all the tape, take off the stencil. Hopefully it's all black and not painted too much. I can already see a little bit got painted, but just a little. So I'll just fix it up with a little bit of black paint and hopefully it'll really pop. I'm so excited to see that. And then I'll just clean it up with the gold around the edges for the butterfly. But I mean, so far it's looking pretty hot. It looks like fire. We'll continue with this project with the Mizuhiki, which is this stuff. We're gonna make a little bit of a pendant on the side. So we'll see how it goes. It's all like first time doing this. So I'm excited. See you next time.